The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd. They went up on the roof and lowered him on a stretcher to the tile into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them and replied, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority in earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all and the glorified God, and struck with awe they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The response to the psalm today is, Our God will come to save us. And that's basically the theme of Advent and the theme of the book of the prophet Isaiah. God comes to us. We celebrate the fact that God has come. Jesus is God with us. He is Emmanuel. And Jesus will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead at the end of time. And it's important for us to remember that the word Advent means coming. And the season of Advent was added probably in the 400s. The, the, the first celebration of the Christians was Easter. And they had Lent. And then uh, several years went on and they developed the story of uh, Christmas and because Christmas was so important, they had a period of preparation. And the, the scripture scholars and the experts say that Advent is modeled after Hanukkah because Hanukkah was celebrated in the fifth day of the month Chisla. What day do we celebrate uh, Christmas? December 25th. And uh, it's all about the light and all that. And Lent is a time of preparation for Easter. And the emphasis during Lent is removing the obstacles, our sins, making straight the way of the Lord. The, the, the emphasis in Advent is God with us and glorifying the God within us, realizing that God has gifted us and we are to use our gifts for the honor and glory of God. That's the beautiful theme of Advent, the goodness of God to us and our goodness, our goodness, and because Jesus dwells in us, we are children of God. And then in the gospel, we have the great faith of the people who bring the paralytic to Jesus. And Jesus forgives their sins and they accuse him of blasphemy. As a priest, I feel like I've done more good through confession than any other sacrament. It unburdens so much. And to be able to forgive someone in God's name is an awesome grace and gift. And even today, you'll hear people say, Go direct to God. Ask those same people. When you have health issues, do you go direct to God for healing or do you go to a doctor? Likewise, when you have sins that are burdening you, make a good confession and there's nothing like it. Jesus has given us a great gift in giving us the power to forgive sins. 